In this video, I'm going to show you the fundamentals of the free version of Elementor, as well as what role it holds between WordPress and your WordPress theme so that you can get started in no time. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is Elementor and why it will make your life easier. Then I'll show you how to create your first web page with Elementor. And finally, we'll talk about why you may want to use the pro version at some point. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to show you where Elementor stands when it comes to WordPress web design as related to WordPress itself and your WordPress theme. A website is a collection of pages that are linked together, although it can be a one page website. Now, as complex or as simple as a web page may be, it can be broken down into the header that you can see right here, the content in the middle and then the footer. Now, what usually happens is that the header and the footer does not change, only the content is going to change from page to page. Now, how do we edit those pages? Well, with WordPress, WordPress is going to be the core of the system, so it's the software we're using, and you probably know that. Now, the old way of doing things was that we used to use WordPress editor to edit the page, create pages and posts. Then you would use a WordPress theme to set the global presentation of the website, the general presentation. So the header and the footer, for example. And then you would add plugins for various features. For example, if you want to add a live chat, that would be a plugin. Now, to cut a long story short, the header and the footer were handled by the WordPress theme, whereas the page or post content was handled by the WordPress editor. So once logged in as an admin or an editor, you could edit the text of the website, could add images and so on, but you wouldn't see it live. So basically you had to publish, then click on edit, then go back to the browser in just regular view and update the page. And bear in mind, you had to do that for all pages. Another issue uh, with this system is that using the WordPress theme uh, for all the settings meant that if you had a great theme, then great, you had many options. But if you had a free theme with limited options, or even if you had a great theme, but not with the options you wanted, well, you were stuck unless you're able to code. And that's where page builders came in. So, so there are a few page builders, but we're going to talk about Elementor. So basically what happens with this model is that the header and the footer are still handled by the WordPress theme, at least for the free version of Elementor. But the page content, you use Elementor, which is a plugin. And basically, you have a few widgets you're just going to drag and drop uh, in the middle. So, for example, the page title here is a widget and you have many widgets. You can add images, um, you can add sliders and so on. And I'm going to show you that in a moment and cherry on the cake. You can even work on the responsive modes right from the live editor. So everything you do, you see it live. So basically you can do the tablet version and the mobile version and see exactly how it's going to look on those devices. So with that in mind, let's use this design as an example and let's build our first page with Elementor. So this is the Elementor editor. So on the right hand side, you see the current page, which is totally empty. And on the left hand side, you see all the widgets. So basically what we can use now are the basic widgets and the general widgets. The other widgets are for the pro version, as you can see here with the padlock. So basically, let's say I want to add a heading. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. And if you look at our example, it says let's explore together. So I can go back. I get my text here. Then what I can do is I can duplicate. So I can right click and duplicate, add some text, and then I can start typing in here, for example. And uh, that allows me to show you the various tabs here. So as you can see, you have content style and advanced. So content is where I type the text. Then I can go to style. I can change the colors here. Let's make it like this. Then I can change also the size, the font. So I want to use Montserrat, so then I can change the size of the font as big or as small as I want. Also, I can go to the advanced and I can add some margin and some padding. So if I want to add a margin on top, this is how it goes and so on. You can also add images. So for that, uh, I'm going back to the widgets icon here and then I can just drag and drop an image. And then I'm just going to click and I can select it in the media library. Now you can add any file from your computer, but I've already added those files. But basically, you just click on upload, click on select files and just select the files on your computer. So let's say I want to add this file here. I click on insert media. Let me go back to the style tab and I can change the width of the image. Now, once you're familiar with Elementor, it's going to be pretty easy to turn this into this. 
But when getting started, another way of doing things is just to start with a template. So if I click here on the folder icon, it opens a pop-up, it lands on the pages tab, and then I can choose a design and start changing it. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one. I'm just going to click on insert. Okay, and it loaded all the design in just one click. Now, this is not really what I want. This is what I want. So basically what I would do is, first of all, I would remove that element. So you can always right click on an element in the top right corner and click on delete. Okay, then I would move the text, just drag and drop. I would move the text here and move the button. And then I will try to look and try to match what I see here, changing the color of the button. So, and then you would try to make it look like this. So that's one way of doing things. Now, let me show you another way of doing things. So this is block. So once again, we're going to click here on the folder icon, but instead of staying on the pages tab, we're going to go to blocks. Now there are many pre-made blocks and just like for the templates, there are a few pro blocks and there are some free blocks. So what we're looking for is called a hero section. It's the top section uh, of a page. So I'm just gonna type hero. As you can see, there are many categories here. So when I type hero, I see a few images. This one here could work. So let me click on insert. Okay, and just in one click, the whole design is loaded. Now, here what you see here on the top is a section. Now, if you want to know the outline of a page, you have a navigator here. So when you click on that icon, which I'm going to do now, as you can see, there's a window that popped up and we can see we have one section. Within that section, we have a column and within that column, we have a heading. So when I click on the various elements here, you will see them outlined on the page. So basically the image that we see here is not just like a regular image we added before. This is a background image. So for that, I'm just going to select the section that you see here. Then I go to the style tab. And as you can see, the image is here. So I can just click. It opens the media library. And if I already added my images, I can just select an image. And if I click, it's starting to look like what we have here. But of course, you have to change all the colors and all of that. Now, I don't want to waste your time. So with the magic of editing, I'm going to show you the final result. And there you go. So this is the final result. And basically what I did is I just duplicated some uh, text, changed the colors, changed the font. Now, if I look here at my page, so I just have this block here, I can totally duplicate a full section, as you can see here, or I can add new sections, whether I create it from scratch or add blocks sky's the limit really so that's what's great with elementor and like i said you have the responsive mode here so basically when i click on the icon i can go into desktop tablet or mobile version so this would be the tablet version this would be the mobile version and i can tweak the settings per device so i can change the font size specifically for one device and not for another so that it makes sense so let's take a look at the uh, final version for the desktop and as you can see it looks great but there's one problem though if you can look the top navigation is not quite what we wanted this is much more minimalist and modern so it's transparent we have the logo on the left hand side and we have a menu button on the right hand side so you could expect to open a full screen navigation and this is not quite what we have and that's one of the shortcomings of just using the free version because with the free version basically the header and the footer that we see here are handled by the wordpress theme now if you do have a professional wordpress theme with many many options you may be able to replicate this design but what about the next one and the next one and the next one and the more complex stuff you want to do the more you're going to find that you won't find a wordpress theme that does it all and that's where Elementor Pro comes in handy. And not just for that. So basically with Elementor Pro, you can change the header and the footer. You can change the 404 page. Basically when there's an error page on your website, so someone taps a URL that does not exist, it goes to a 404 page. Uh, same thing for the search results, for the blog read, the blog post, and the page layout. Why the page layout, you may say? Well, let's say you want to have this type of uh, design so you want a vertical navigation on the left hand side like i've already covered in a few tutorials which i will link 
in the uh, description below. The new way of doing things is to use Elementor Pro basically for everything. So the header and the footer in our case are going to be handled also by Elementor Pro and just like before the uh, page content as well. Now, once you install Elementor Pro and activate it, you can now create theme builder parts. Now, I've already created a few here and let me show you. So this is the header, the custom header. So basically, I have one section that you see here on top. On the left hand side, I have one column with the logo and on the right hand side, I have a column with an icon that opens a full screen navigation. And yes, the full screen navigation is also created with Elementor Pro and its pop up builder feature. Now, if you're interested in building such navigation, I've created countless tutorials on the subject. Now, once you're happy, just click on publish. This pop-up will appear. I want this header on the whole website. I click on save and close. Okay. And now if you go to the front end, I'm just going to refresh the page and there you go. So as you can see, we have our beautiful transparent navigation. And if you look on the right hand side, we have our icon. And when I click on it, we have our full screen navigation. So let's close and let's take a look at the design. And now let's go back. Let's check the initial design. And as you can see, it's quite close. Now let's take a look at the footer. So if I scroll down, this is the footer we have here. And I wanted something different. So let's go back to the um, Elementor Pro editor. And I created this footer here. So let me click on publish. And once again, I want to add it to the entire website. So I click on save and close. OK. And now if I go back, let me refresh. And voila, as you can see, nice and beautiful. So we may now understand why Elementor Pro is such a tool I recommend. And if you take a look at all the features, actually, I could not cover all the features in one video. I would spend days. But basically, in a nutshell, these are the main features of the Pro version against the free version. So you get the Team Builder, which we've just seen. You get the Pop-Up Builder, which I've talked about. You also have the Form Builder, so you can create any form you want straight within Elementor. You get the WooCommerce Builder, so if you want to create an e-commerce website, you can customize the WooCommerce pages. And then you get the role editor. And this one is also really great because let's say you build a website for someone else and you don't want them to mess up the design. Basically, you can just give them a specific role. So let me show you. So in the WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor and then click on Role Manager. And then let's say that you gave an editor role to your client. You can just click on it and say no access to editor if you don't want them to edit or access to edit content only. So I'm just going to save changes. Okay, so now I'm logged in as a client. And as you can see, when I click on an element, I can only change the content here. So if we look here, there's no style or advanced tab. So that's going to ensure that your design stays consistent if you wish so. Now, as you may imagine, Elementor Pro is not free, but it's a very decent pricing, especially when you take into consideration everything you can do with this tool. So if you're interested in purchasing Elementor Pro, you will find my affiliate link in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so it means that I do get a commission if you purchase after clicking on my link, but I only recommend Elementor Pro because I use it every day and can't recommend it enough. You don't pay anything extra, but commissions actually help support the channel and help me to keep on creating free content. Now with Elementor Pro, you also get access to dynamic content, but that's a bit more advanced and I'll cover that in a future video. You can have motion effects, uh, you get 50 extra widgets plus the global widget. So basically you can have one widget that's going to appear on all the pages. You only change it once and it's going to reflect on all the pages. You also get sliders. If you like that, you get sticky elements, which can make for really slick effects. You can also embed any content anywhere because when you create content with Elementor Pro, you get a short code and then you can use that short code anywhere and you get much more templates, the pro templates that we saw earlier on and that were locked. Well, you get all of that when you get the pro version. So I hope that you get value out of this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos about Elementor, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. So that's it for today. Make sure you don't miss the next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to invest in your success.